You're watching a very special segment and interview with animal communicator Karen Anderson on Tapping In with Gary Spivey. So our new segment on the show is Social Media Moments with Travis and Jason. And this is really how we came up with this week's theme of the show. And the theme of the show this week is Life is Precious. Check this out. Hey guys, this is Travis. And I'm Jason. Yahoo! What's trending on uh, social media these days? Well, we got uh, Cecil the Lion, you know, rest in peace. And that's a sad story. Yeah, it is. You know, Jimmy Kimmel got a little emotional about that. Why are you shooting a lion in the first place? I mean, I'm honestly curious to know why a human being would feel compelled to do that. How is that fun? Is it that difficult for you to get an erection that you need to kill things? I think all America got a little emotional about that. Yeah, yeah, everybody's up in arms about it. Interesting topic, an animal psychic actually read it and got a message from this line. You actually found this online today. Her name is Karen Anderson, and she's an animal communicator and author. She actually tapped into Cecil the Lion. Cecil the Lion came to her. I just connected with Cecil the Lion, who was recently killed. I wanted to let him know how loved and honored he is. I was moved to tears to hear his words. His message was profound. He said, Let not the actions of these few men defeat us or allow darkness to enter our hearts. If we do then, we become one of them. Raise your vibration and allow this energy to move us forward. What happened does not need to be discussed. It is what it is. Take heart, my child. I am finer than ever, grander than before, as no one can take our purity. Our truth or our soul, ever. I am here. Be strong and speak for all others who suffer needlessly to satisfy human greed. Bring light, love, and we will all rise above this. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't was, expecting such a, a... Yeah, that's a powerful message. Yeah, I wasn't expecting yeah, that is. at all. Yeah, you know, I mean, this is, this really hit me because lately uh, in private readings and shows I'm, you know, I'm doing and everywhere I, I i i've been telling people don't become the other team you know don't don't let it suck you down right you know don't don't go so much into the drama of something that you become it right. you know learn from what occurred if it was a negative thing and if somebody was victimized learn from that person's being being victimized and don't repeat the process exactly and so so i mean wow what a message and so i'd like to introduce to you guys our next guest and this person is amazing uh she's known around the world as being an animal communicator who is one of the best animal communicators uh psychics mediums on earth and so we're really happy to have her with us today karen anderson karen how are you gary hey. oh my gosh hello <laughs> Are you? I'm good. I'm good. As one, as one psychic person to another, it's a joy uh, to hear your voice. Likewise. I feel the same. Thank you so much for this opportunity. You know, we were all touched. You know, I have to say, I'm used to talking to dead people on the other side, and, and I see a lot of meaningful moments, you know, and I'm very lucky and privileged to be that person to do that. I was touched. I mean, I started crying when I heard this message, and I get teary-eyed, you know, when I think about it. And, and so, what an amazing message that you channeled. Can you tell us what inspired you what how did you know and how did it come to you from very humble and basic um, beginnings actually I was just kind of getting ready for my day of appointments just like you do and right. I was doing a meditation and a prayer yeah and I saw the news come across my computer about what had happened to Cecil wow. and I was so profoundly upset and horrified mm -hmm. at what I was reading um, that I literally felt like I couldn't breathe wow. and that, and I had sessions starting in about, you know, 15, 20 minutes. I couldn't get my head on straight. I can relate. So, <laughs> yes, yeah. I know you can. Yeah, I can relate. I, so you know how emotions are when, when psychics try to do their work. It's like wearing a heavy, wet blanket on top of us. This, I describe it like that sometimes. And I just could not move myself past it. I just kept going back to Cecil's picture and how magnificent and beautiful. And I was drawn in. I was drawn in like a moth to a flame. I just... I can't explain it any other way, but I just felt so compelled to reach out to him and just let him know how loved he is and will always be. You know, being an animal communicator, I connect through a photograph. Right. 
so there was his photo right in front of me. So, of course, I'm an animal communicator. The only logical thing to do is for me to connect with him. Well, my head gets hot and when you say this. I don't know if you guys at home can feel this, <laughs> but right then my third eye opened. When she's describing what she did, she actually went back, looped into the energy, and my head's getting very hot as you say this. It, it was in- incredible, and I immediately was surrounded by the only thing I can describe to you is a rush of not quite adrenaline, not quite um, light just light I see all this light engulfing you right uh, it was just a rush and I had goosebumps on top of goosebumps and I literally felt lifted up in my actual chair that I could feel his energy around me so the message started to come through immediately and I knew as soon as I heard the first words being spoken that it was going to be something amazing. I, I so felt like I was, it was totally divine. I mean, when, when I when I hear words was. that are divinely spoken from heaven, from God, from, you know, uh, this beautiful, you know, being, uh, it, 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 it touched me and it, and it, and it really gave me a, a sense of um, something that I hadn't felt in a long time. So, and I think everybody who heard your message from Cecil was just uh, touched and, and could feel it. And I mean, you got national recognition. You were all over the place and, and all over the place now. Obviously, this is a message that needed to be heard from him, but, and it came through you. Uh, you're like me, you're, you're the messenger. And and, uh, and so, you know, we just do what we do and we don't even know how or why sometimes it just comes. You nailed it. And I think people needed something. They needed to feel some sort of comfort. Absolutely. But I have to tell you, there, the only goal I had was to get my thoughts and my emotions under control so that I could do what I needed to do for that day. Yeah. I had no idea what was going to come of it. I felt so good after I mm. received this message that I just wanted to share it with the, the people on my Facebook page. And so that's simply what I did, just like I do all the time. I, I share little snippets from my sessions all the time on yeah, well, my Facebook tell, page. Tell, you know, go ahead and tell us your Facebook right now so, I mean, so other people can check it out. It's Karen Anderson, Animal Communicator. Truly, I just put the message on Facebook just like I do all the time. When I have a, something really, you know, that strikes me as, wow, someone would love to hear this. But this one, I posted, Gary, within minutes, I started getting responses from people that were just like over the top and, oh my gosh, thanking me over and over again. This has helped me so much. I needed to hear this. They did. And the next thing I knew, I went from approximately 1,500 people. Now I'm up to almost a million wow. people that this has reached just from my Facebook page. Oh, that's wow, not that's mention. beautiful. Yeah, it is. You know, we really are all one. I think it's a way that, that heaven can leak messages into the world, you know? And so I'm always amazed with all the different types of media and stuff, you know, that, that, that's out there that we do and, and how people connect these days. And so how do people get a reading from you? I have an online scheduler on my website and, okay. and you you can see all the different types of sessions. Describe your different types of sessions that you do. Well, I connect with all animals living or deceased. Okay. It does not matter if they are here or if they have transitioned out of their physical body as you know the the energy right. never dies. It okay. continues on. Travis just lost his dog, Lily, that was his family dog. And this was at his mom and dad's house. And you, do you see Lily? Lily, what, Lily was like a shepherd. or, or a, what She was, was she? A, a black lab German shepherd mix. Yeah, and she, she lived to be an old girl. But yeah, she, she was, was like 13. Yeah. 14. Do you feel Lily on the other side at all? And when I ask yeah, you this. You know, um, there, there's, she's telling me that there was something unusual about her circumstances. Or did she come to you in an unusual way? Or Boy, did you we, nail it. What a nail. Yeah. That's a, you know, because wow. I know the story. Tell her the story. Well, Tell the, everybody the story. The, the story was as I was, I was uh, 18 years old, and I was a senior in high school, and I was on a hunting trip with a buddy, and we were driving by, and uh, we saw a sign that said, Free Dogs, or Free Puppies, and I knew my parents were not going to let me keep this puppy. But I brought it home anyways, and it was a Sunday, and so I, they couldn't have me take it to you know, the adoption place to get rid of it, it was they were all closed. So I talked um, talk to them and then letting me keep it for a week. Well, after a week, they had fell in love with it and we ended up keeping her for, you know, till she died, 14 years. And so, Aww. and she was, she was, she was my mom and dad's life. Center. I mean, she was the center, center of the, of the whole family. Definitely. Yeah, yeah, she was. Yeah. I gotta tell you, she, I do see her. I do see her around human family loved ones too and they're, they're fawning over her, like, we've got her, we're, we've got her here, and we're taking good care of her. So I see that she's in very good hands, but 
You know, she's all love and smiles for you. Big, big smiles coming through and lots of But well, she love. was a dog that actually smiled. She would do something with her lips and she would smile. Yeah. Oh. You know, yeah. some dogs. Have this little, <laughs> yeah, she did She do would that. do that little smile thing. Cute. So yeah. you nailed it again. That's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's neat. I love it when I get when we get readings. I'm happy. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> I was in it. It's fun. Perfect. Yeah. Well, well. Anytime you would like to do the show, just let us know. And you guys got to get her book. I mean, I I read the third chapter of your book is just something. I see what I see for you. I see a new TV thing, and I don't know if you're working on something like that, but I really do see you doing something with TV that's going to be great for you and busy. You're yeah. right on. You're right on, Gary. In fact, the okay. camera crew is going to be here in a couple of hours. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, I must be wow. psychic. Congrats. Wow. We love you a lot. Thank you for being on the show. And uh, and you guys, Thank please you. get her book and uh, and check her out online. And so uh, we'll talk to you soon. Now. Okay, promise you'll be back on our show, okay? Right. I promise okay. blessings to all of you and all your listeners, too. Okay. All right, Same thank to you, Karen. Karen. All right, take care. Okay, bye-bye. All right. Bye. Oh, that was great. That was yeah, amazing. Yeah, that was uh, really good. I wasn't expecting yeah. that. Yeah. I like it when we get readings. You know, everybody's like, <laughs> yeah. oh, read something, Gary. Read something. Yeah. I, I, know, but I, didn't, like, I wasn't trying to tear up on the show, but uh, thanks. Yeah. You were pretty tough. You know, I figured you'd yeah, be like Yeah, it's your dog, Lily, one. man. We miss her, too, yeah. you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And so, isn't that, isn't that neat? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's good. Rest yeah. in peace, Lily. Yeah, yeah, I saw Tell her. Cecil, I said, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, Karen's for real. I mean, she's really for real because she is explaining my life. Where I'm like, you know, I know I've got a session or coming up and I've got to do this thing or, or a radio show or something. And, and I could have some incoming message and I'll get, I'll get so sidetracked and I have to go with it. And if I don't really go with it and get it out of the way, I know I'm not going to be, you know, in the zone to do what I need to do. And so she explained so truthfully w the way it works. So, uh, but, but what an amazing human, what an amazing story. Absolutely. And, uh, thank you, Karen, for this. Thank, thank you, you very much for being a part of the show. Everyone from the Tapping In with the Gary Spivey Show wants to give Karen Anderson another special thank you for being part of the show.